my name is Brooke Helling and I chose craniosynostosis for my topic for my virtual health fair project. I wanted to research craniosynostosis because my older cousin was born with this defect and I wanted to know how he was affected and how this can affect so many infants. A couple important things that I think are important for everyone to know is this birth defect is most likely non-genetic meaning this defect is sporadic and can happen to almost anyone. When pregnant, there is no way to prevent your child from getting craniosynostosis. Many women who have children born with craniosynostosis report you have no issues during pregnancy. Now, if you look to the top of my website, you should see other pages of my website. Click on any of those to receive more information that I acquired from my research. Thank you for looking into my project, and if you have any feedback, I would love to know. Thank you again, and enjoy the rest of your day.